opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. Nx e5 captures the undefended e5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e4 and controls the d5 square. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. Takes back. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. Master Games It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. This misses a better way to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn and must now move or be captured. It is good. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. The rook is now on an open file which helps control squares across the board. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This misses a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This overlooks a better way to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a miss. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable bishop. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. This is the start of the end game and white is better. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. 
White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. White still has the better position, but they lost their winning advantage. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This ignores a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. Very precise. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. This threatens to kick a rook. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. It is a miss. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.